All right, guys, GM85 here. It is Monday, specifically, it is Makita Monday for me. It was supposed to be a different little play on words, but uh, I had to adapt. So, we are going to Japan today, technically, guys, on a little history lesson. So, we are also drinking acai beer, which conveniently somehow is a product of Italy. I don't know how that works, though, but acai is also a tool manufacturer in Japan as well, guys. So, we are going to flip this around and we're going to go on a little history lesson, guys. Bunch of Makita drills. We're going to go from the past all the way to the future. So, all of these are basically 3 8 except for the last two, guys. Old, metal chucked, corded. I had one more of these on order. A much older version of this, but it somehow got lost in shipping. And then this drill right here. Just kind of the electric drill that started all. Not this particular model, but one of them. And we got the NICAD guy, which technically this thing's a piece of fucking garbage. And I love Makita, but not this thing. 12 volt max discontinued model. Brushed LXT. And the new big mammer jammer, the Makita XPW14 or whatever the fuck it is. New hammer drill from last year. This is the last drill that came out that made any impact for Makita before their 40 volt release, which now that I have this, I probably will not be buying into the 40 volt system for quite some time, unless it would be for a four speed half drive impact wrench more so. But uh, all of these do work guys. Clearly I'm not gonna sink all of these screws though, but they do work guys. All of these work, and we're going to go over all the features that these all do have, guys. And they were all hanging on Makita impact bits also, guys, if anyone's interested. Now, part numbers for these are going to be kind of a pain in the ass, guys, because a lot of these are discontinued. But first, we're going to talk about this old drill here, guys. And this drill is kind of cool because... It's raw power all day long. It's got your forward reverse. And the thing that this drill has that the previous model of this did not have is this little wheel for speed. So you just spin your little wheel. And you go up, but whichever direction it is, I always forget on this damn drill. But keep spinning and spinning and spinning and it locks itself but you i don't know if you guys can hear it but it does hum so you give this a little couple of turns and you can control your speed and your speed stays at a fixed rate like this guys this drill is actually perfect for slow drilling if you guys want to talk about doing extractions anymore <laughs> this drill is perfect for that because every other one of these drills is variable speed this is also variable speed once you just crank your, your knob all the way up. But you can see this takes a little bit of time to control your speed, unfortunately. But that's your full speed. But I do enjoy the precision speed control on this model. Because it, it definitely helps control speed. Now there's the model I was looking for actually, guys, is an older one that has a metal nameplate made in Japan. But it is lost in shipping. So if I ever get that, I will get around to doing a special video just on that one. And I actually still am a fan of the keyed chucks, personally, guys. Because they're still useful. Now, I don't know about this particular model. This is one of very, very many models, actually, guys. That's the one thing I hate about Makita is the amount of models they produced so quickly. Uh, and this one is just basic. You got your speed high low and right here you you only have five speeds for your chuck one two three four five and drill and you have a metal chuck now on models when they started getting more into these they did away with this kind of chuck i believe i'm not positive but i'm pretty sure and your forward and reverse is back here which is kind of easy it's easier than this one for me for some reason but this, like all Makitas, do have 
like for being this awkward uncomfortable shape there is still a couple of ergonomics designed into this hard plastic mold like right here and you can easily hit your switch and then you got your like, little trigger guard here but then if i was able to use it with two hands guys you got this little bolster to kind of help guide for more even pressure instead of kind of going ham on it with one direction now the other good thing about this drill is you can still find these for ungodly cheap on uh uh what is it ebay and you can find numerous batteries be it knockoffs or actual makita ones this is a 7000 series one so this is a little guy this is a 7.2 i believe this battery takes i'd say about an hour to an hour and a half to charge and it depletes very very quickly and i believe this is a made in japan one possibly guys um but this tool still works the other thing is there is a variation of this said drill that eddie van halen used on a number of songs in the 90s guys i don't know if this one's from the 90s or even the 70s or 80s though i can't date most of these because all the stuff is worn off then there's this thing this is specifically from 97 it's a nicad this battery is complete garbage it's a 9.6 1.3 the only thing is the drill is incredibly light but so what happened is this is more comfortable than this fucking thing this thing's uncomfortable this thing feels like a black and decker to me and this chuck is just a plastic piece of junk it has no engagement but it also still just has your standard five and speed chuck and your drill mechanism and then they moved this here which i don't like this on this like this is literally a black and decker drill for me uh, i don't like this drill at all and then <coughs> We got into this more modern. We're in the more modern things now. There's more Makita drills than this. This is just something I felt like doing because drills are something every house has more so than an impact wrench or an impact driver because this is easier to work with. More people have these anyway. Uh, but this is the 12 volt Makita Max Line. I did buy this as a refurbished because it is discontinued, guys. And I bought this to go with my impact, uh, my 3 8 impact wrench, which I have of this in this model, white and the impact driver but it's cool now now you notice we have speed functions back whereas this thing didn't have it the old one did and this one had a variable speed wheel this thing is much nicer you also have 18 19 uh settings on your truck and your high low speed has been moved up here and it's pretty much stayed up the top for the majority of everything else designed pistol grips much nicer battery life on this little 12 volt is five times better than this and this is technically almost a 12 volt from back in the day if you want to be technical uh, but this thing kicks this thing's ass this thing used to keep up but it's old this thing is going to blow this out of the water every day still now this is a makita uh, lxt brush i've had this for about six years seven years possibly the other thing that i hate about makita guys is see the little part number xfd01 when they start manufacturing their shit there's like twenty thousand different model numbers with different numbers and codings and everything else on the fucking planet that's one thing i do hate about makita personally is there's probably xfd01 and then the next release is XFD02D or something with a T on it for whatever reason. And it's pretty common, but now we're up to, you know, you're, this only has 19, I think. And that, and you also got your two speeds, but what happened is you have a much more ergonomic grip. Everything's more functional. And this battery life is great on this. This is the original battery. It still runs, but depending if it's in this drill or the impact this battery doesn't keep up like it used to but this is still a very comparable drill this drill is going to stay at home now because now i have the new guy i have yet to really use this guy now this is their new hammer drill and this thing is i'd say a solid four pounds overall and it was hanging off that little screw easily and this thing is nowhere near as lightweight and ergonomic as this guy is because this is a hammer drill so it technically is a different tool but it's the same at the same time and you can see the size difference in this guy this guy is bigger by far this guy is tinier 
and then you can see the spatial difference like but this is not kind of a fair comparison because this is a much older model i'm sure there's a regular drill that i could compare this to but i don't have one but the speed on this thing is insane that's your second speed on you got 21 chucks you got a full metal chuck that has nice engagement like you can sense this and you hear the positive engagement on this thing guys and also i paired it with a six amp guys uh which is the biggest battery makita does make in the 18 volt line guys and it works great for like almost two weeks straight before i got to charge it but uh <coughs> i'll try to find part numbers for some of these guys um for the vintage stuff, I'll find some links from eBay, I guess, guys. If you're interested in owning this, owning any of these guys. Um, but, no, this is just what I wanted to show. A little history lesson for Makita. Like, kind of, not necessarily that Makita's always the best at what they do. But, like, this thing sucks. This thing is an iconic design, on, definitely. And this thing is so fucking good they actually still make this if you go to amazon you can find this exact style of drill still in production and i believe even on the makita website if you go under corded tools they still have something of this caliber and this thing has 21 rpms which is i believe actually i think it's i want to say it's more than even this little guy uh, it doesn't say on here uh, uh yeah i guess this, i guess i don't know what this one is but this one right here this is 2100 right here and this is a brand new drill so we have an old drill that has just as much speed as this one but this one has that exact that precise trigger wheel which now i would never use i would use this to drill but i would not use this for tapping because it's awkward heavy this has precise slow drilling capabilities unlike all of these all of these are variable speed this one is not you just play with your wheel and it stays at that speed so that's why i keep this guy around but uh no that's well what i got for you today guys i was supposed to have a different intro play on word but unfortunately that didn't happen because i couldn't find a certain product but uh no uh <coughs> like comment subscribe uh let me know whatever you want in the comments guys uh i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with all these old vintage tools maybe i'll make a cabinet and put them on display or something i don't know but uh no that's a little history lesson uh maybe one of you guys will do something on dwalt or milwaukee or even uh maybe skill would be a good one to see guys uh because you know power tool lines have advanced so far like we went from everything corded to this i believe there's a model list where you actually had to charge the entire drill i believe i'm not positive on that though too so this is a good improvement this is a downgrade massive improvement brushed i like actually because you can verbish this yourself this if this fucks up i have to have this service unfortunately so that's a negative on this guy for me but i'm going to put this guy through the paces especially now at work uh, because we have new stuff coming in and we do have concrete drilling that will be done so i get to put this guy to a real test at work with concrete wood and metal so i want to see what this guy does so i don't have to jump into the 40 volt platform just yet or even the flex i got money on this thing would probably kick the flex's ass anyway uh just because it's a makita and i don't think flex marketed to this tool particularly but the one thing I think this could have is a the little rubber bumper down here because it does have impact functions for the hammer mode. And it is a little bulky the way that the high, high torques do. I think they could have put that on here. But it's definitely thicker insulated, guys. But I got to play with this, guys. But uh, that's all I got for you guys on this Monday. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.